All right, this lighting situation is not ideal, but I mean, you gotta work with what you got. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is not something I talk about ever with anyone. It's something that I hate talking about. It's something that makes me uncomfortable, that makes me anxious, that gets my heart beating really fast. It's something that I think is really important for me to share. I want to take the time to help you understand the challenges that I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So, here it is straight. I have high-functioning autism. And I am autistic. I don't normally tell people because of the stigma the word autism has. And that's really sad because I should be able to say it with confidence that I am autistic. But as soon as I say it, everyone's perception of me will completely change. It changes completely. I've never done this before, but I think it's really important that I take the time to reach out to the people with the same difficulties that I have. I want to show you that I hear you, that I feel you, and that I'm in your corner cheering for you. I'm going to try to give you some insight into me and my autism. My brain is wired differently than a neurotypicals. Not, not wrongly, but differently. So I sometimes struggle with self-awareness, insight, and like natural instinct into like human behaviors. And sometimes I have issues with my perception of reading situation, which makes life pretty hard. Um, I also do things and say things unintentionally sometimes, which cause the people I love a lot of hurt and pain and that's not me. I would never intentionally say something to hurt somebody's feelings or to bring them down. And unfortunately, due to my autism, I sometimes do that. All of these things make personal relationships for me really hard and fitting in really hard. It gives me a lot of anxiety, which is an awful way to feel. But my autism also gives me some great things like my academic abilities and my talent and has made me so much stronger of a person than I would have been if I did not have autism. And at this time in my life, I've recognized that I have grown and matured enough to deduce that this is the challenge that God has given me. And I'm up for it. It's my responsibility to like work on myself in order to be the best person that I'm capable of being. To be a role model to those who are out there struggling every day of their lives with the same issues that I have. I want you to see that if you persevere and believe in yourself and you work hard towards your goals that you can make your dreams a reality and you can live the life that you've always imagined it could be. I'm lucky enough to have friends all over the world. Friends that accept me, faults and all, that have stuck with me since day one. They accept me for who I am. I just want to say thank you to all of you that have stuck by me, that have believed in me, and that have pushed me to be a better person because I really wouldn't be sitting here today talking about this if it weren't for every single one of you. I'm sure, as y'all are all aware, I am obsessed, completely obsessed with my music and I don't know where I would be without it. It's where I find my inner peace, it's where I can express who I am, it's where I find my serenity, it's how I dealt with being bullied relentlessly in high school, it's where I express my sorrows, my heartaches, confusions, excitement, enjoy. It's my saving grace and my happy place and I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. I am not going to allow autism to define who I am. I refuse to let it define who I am. If you were to ask me who I am, I wouldn't say I'm autistic. I would say that I am a loving, caring, giving, compassionate, worldly, adventurous, spontaneous, intelligent, humorous, creative, entertaining, talented, driven, passionate, and hardworking person. I would say that I am a daughter, a sister, a niece, a cousin, a friend, and a good human being that just happens to be autistic. I wouldn't change myself for the world.